the greatest treasure in life is really to see for yourself that you are already at peace. You are already at complete harmony with yourself just as you are, just exactly as you are. Whether you notice that right now or not, that actually doesn't matter because this is the truth of any human being. You are completely at peace already. Completely at peace. So you can check that for yourself right now in the middle of whatever you have going on. That there is something about you that is just open, clear, that are just listening to me right now, that are not busy about, you know, you can have thoughts about, oh, she's so boring, or I want to go, or, you know, whatever that it's happening. There's something about you that just goes beyond that, that are just able to be here, open. And in this training, we are empowered, supported, to really, again and again, tap into that peace that's already there. Present. Not located anywhere, like in your foot or head or, you know, it's there. It's who you are. So we train to tap into that peace. And in this training, we simply call it opening intelligence. Because it's an intelligence, it is so wise and so vast that simply know how you can live your life in complete trust that you as you are is enough. That's your goal. That is your complete freedom in life. To tap into that opening intelligence that instinctively knows that. So you can continue your life and inquire and look for and search for endless information about nature of reality. And you can do that for fun, but where it's at is to test it for yourself in your own life. Otherwise it doesn't matter what you do, you can just have fun in life. But if you want to really be empowered to, to live a life rooted and based in that peace, your openness to see that you need to train it up is your goal. That will take you all the way to this endless destination where every moment, every situation in your life is the perfect opportunity to test it, to see it, to claim it. To claim it. I want to live my life in, of, as and through this peaceful, stable nature or who I am. It's just like nature itself, nature's intelligence. We have wasted so much time and energy in our life to try to think about who we are, try to understand who we are, when we already knew it. There's always something going on some perceptions, some data. In this training, we, we, we make it so simple. We call all that we think, feel, sense, things, places, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever is appearing for you, whatever is in this situation available, it's information, it's data. We can trust that just by being open and available to see that data, experience that data completely, clearly, is enough. We don't need to think about it. <laughs> we really don't need to think about being ourself because we are ourself already. So in this training we give you only one instruction to, to really claim this for yourself. It couldn't be more simple than that. Just one in instruction. So for short moments throughout your day you take short moments of opening intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So now, if you sit here and you feel 
very afflictive, sad, maybe you have fears, you know, whatever that, you know, core affliction is for you, just think about it right now. You're totally fine. So the cure for affliction is the affliction itself. That's what we come to see. It's about time that we say there's nothing wrong with me because I feel afflicted. There's nothing wrong with me because I feel so sad. I just want to cry now for 100 years. Fine. Because you could never see the truth of who you are if you were not empowered to let it be as it is and see it's fine. So you can read a book about it, with, but the assurance that this is so for you would never come about. It only come about when you, when you feel that affliction, you feel that great, great deep suffering right now, and you see it doesn't harm you. I could tell it doesn't harm you, it doesn't harm you, it doesn't harm you. What does that mean? Nothing. But when you see it doesn't harm you, it doesn't kill you, it doesn't do anything to you. If you take short moments, you relax your body and mind and see it's fine. It's just a, like a wind blowing through you. You have no idea of how long you will think about this deep sadness or this affliction, this suffering. Really, it was when I realized that if I was going to suffer for the rest of my life, I would be fine because I had tested so many times up until that point that I could still drive my car while being depressed, I could still make my food while being depressed, I could still work on my computer while being depressed, I could still talk with people while being depressed. I mean I tested, 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 so it was confirmed to me that I am more than my afflictions. I am more than these random thoughts about myself, random ideas. What is it really? It's just a repeated idea. I love my suffering or I'm, I'm identifying with my suffering or, you know, it's an idea. There's no difference between labeling yourself as, as a very afflicted person or a very happy person. I don't even know what I could label myself anymore. Because if I try to label myself, I, I know I'm lying. <laughs> I know that I'm, if I'm labeling myself as happy-go-lucky, I'm lying, because I'm not only that. <laughs> or if I label myself right now as a complete, you know, afflicted package of suffering, <laughs> I'm not that. So maybe for the first time in your life now, you're allowed to feel everything. So if you ever wonder about how you could be of benefit to the world, it's to get to know yourself and see all of this in you, because you are no different from the world. You know, all that you house, all the feelings, all the afflictions, all the thoughts, anything, all that you house is the house of the universe. You know, that's where you really get home, with everyone and everything. So basically, when I was introduced to Balanced View and the Four Mainstays, that is the education that we provide, this complete support package, the perception of myself and the world changed forever. In that seeing that I'm not my data. I'm not limited by my data. The data are just reminders and tools to get real with life and not escape life. I was a master in wanting to escape situations. I even wanted to escape life. So when it was too difficult, too complicated, too painful, too much suffering, escape. Not allowing myself to be real.
<laughs> so before I met this training, I, um, I, had, I had this perfect life, really. I was born in uh, one of the best countries to live in in the world, according to so many statistics. So there shouldn't be any, any justification for suffering, for sure. I had everything provided for me. I uh, had an amazing family, have an amazing family. I, I, I grew up in this small farm in the forest, peace everywhere. And I, I did just the right things according to society, according to conventions. I went to university, I met this wonderful man, I'm married. I, I had good grades, I, I had an amazing career for 10 years, international career, traveling all over the world, saving the world, doing the good things all the time, every second of my life, being of benefit. And I, I, I yeah, it was flowing on so nicely. I was just ticking off, ticking off, ticking off. Cars, houses, apartments, everything. It feels even, you know, how could I ever think that my, my, my stability and peace in life would, would depend on these circumstances? That's madness. It changes all the time as my body changes. Gray hair coming, I mean, everything changes all the time. How could I think that if I, I accumulated all this good stuff in my life, I would be safe? It's just not possible. So in the age of 35, I just became so depressed. Even if I had all this in place, how come? There's no logic to that. But the logic is, yes, because I relied on my data for my happiness. My partner, my job, money, sex, beautiful places, luxurious holidays. good recognition in my job, great career. I'm so happy all of this collapsed. Because <laughs> I know I'm safe in any experience in my life because I'm not going to rely on that anymore. But that doesn't mean that I, I have a good life. You know? If you ever had a thought about, okay, maybe I should just give up everything now. Maybe not even any clothes. <laughs> you know, this, you know, it's not about that. But it's about really, again, what I said in the beginning, to see that the goal in your life is to check for yourself, am I stable, safe, clear within my experience? You don't need to go anywhere to look for that. You don't need to go to a special country. You don't need to do any special practice. You, don't need, you can check with whatever is up for you right now. So therefore, I saw nothing in my life ever needed to change. So if you want to continue to meditate, yoga, whatever we, you know, I love nature. I, I love it even more now, you know, walks in nature. We don't need to change anything in our life. Then we are on the old way of living life where we are still manipulating our experience to look for meaning. But that is just like, you know, moving the deck chairs on, on Titanic. It's just, you know. We can do it, but it's a waste of energy. So that's what I saw, you know, in my own life. And that's how I, I could find this complete freedom and stability, for instance, midst affliction, midst depression. Because I was not trying to <laughs> rearrange the deck chair of depression anymore. I just, okay, you know, that's fine. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I can fully feel this and that's fine. Because I saw that every experience is like a line drawn in water. When I heard that for the first time in this training, I was like, no way. My depression is like black, 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 black. It's like all of me is saturated with this blackness, darkness. No way it's line drawn in water. Guess what? It was an idea and I never ever allowed myself. To, to test it, because I had so many justifications in therapy, in society, that 
you know, I was conditioned and marked by my thoughts and emotions. So the, all the past negativity was just all within me. <laughs> and that was the idea. But when I tested, it wasn't like that. I saw that it was only one perception at a time. I'm depressed, I'm hungry, I'm depressed, depressed, depressed. Telephone ringing, I'm hungry, depressed. I mean, <laughs> so that's your life. That's my life, that's everyone's life. Nothing else is just a belief system, an idea. We have so many of them. So that's when we really start to see that all that we are, all that we house, all the data, are inseparable from open intelligence. Just like uh, the reflections in the mirror. You cannot put the reflection here and the mirror there. You can go and try if you like, but it's just not possible, is it? So you can just, you know, really relax in life and to see that you don't need to go and and try to, to, to seek for anything. You are already what you're seeking for. You're already perfect, even if you have, you know, afflictive thoughts right now. So I would invite you to, to check for yourself how long are you going to continue to take your afflictions so personal? How long are you going to continue to do that? That is the empowerment of this training that I saw directly in my life. I said, okay, Nina, you have a choice. I can give up the right to be a victim of my data, also the afflictive one. Even if I felt so secure in them because I was so identified with them and I love to be felt sorry for. I wanted to have the worst suicidal thoughts so people could just, you know, ah, she's special. That takes some kind of openness to see that, you know. Even there, there is competition. I saw in my own life. <laughs> it's madness. You know, so I said, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. And I invite anyone, any, anywhere, to say, I give up that right. I want to live my life just as I am and trust my spontaneous expression. Because when we have given up that right, you know what it is to be a human being. And then you know that your birthright is to be a benefit. There's no other agenda in life. All other agendas are just misunderstandings and illusions. The only thing you want as a human being, and you see it in children, you see it in nature, is to serve and be of benefit and you know you never will be forgotten. You're completely taken care of. So that self-dignity, self-respect, self-care, self-love that you maybe were hunting for as I did, in relationships, in places, in circumstances, in special states of mind. You don't need to look for it. It's there, available to you right now when you give up the right to be a victim of your data. Never make this complicated. Just test and test and check and come back and ask. So if you ever wonder about what Balanced View is, it's just the most generous support network I have ever come across. That only want you the best for your life. That only, only support you to find that courage, that openness within yourself to take those short moments. That all that's going on here, nothing, nothing else. And we are normal human beings that have tested this for some years and we just share that this really works if you want to claim that power for yourself in your own life.